This episode of The Young Turks is brought to you by Audible.com. Get a free audiobook at audiblepodcast.com slash TYT. They took this infomercial, they put their own audio in it to spoof it, right? And if you've seen The Cami Secret, you know what we're talking about. Jenk, I'm sure you have no idea what we're talking about. Yeah, I was going to ask you, but I felt embarrassed. Like, you guys were talking about it like, no. I should know the secret. What is it? So The Cami Secret is for women who want to wear, like, low-cut shirts to work because they're fashionable, but they have cleavage and they want to cover it up. So it's just a little piece of cloth they put to cover their boobs. It looks like a little blouse or t-shirt that you would wear under your stylish shirt. That sounds absurd. But that, <laughs> but that apparently is difficult, the shirt. So it's, it's, it's like a clip-on. Just get a larger shirt. It's literally shirt. a clip-on it's, piece of cloth. It's a clip-on tie No, there's for no girls. way that doesn't look <laughs> absurd. It doesn't look that bad in my opinion. It looks like you're wearing a shirt underneath, okay? But, well, we don't want to, yeah, don't spoil it. But that. anyway, yeah. I, we got to show you the spoof on the commercial for the Cami Secret. So let's, let's Let's roll it. Let's face it, boobs are the greatest oh, thing ever. Right now, this guy has an office boner. For some <laughs> reason, women keep trying to cover their lady prizes up. Sometimes they even wear undershirts, which is a real fucking buzzkill. Well, <laughs> now some asshole has invented this new boob apron, which is like a piece of a shirt that women attach to their bras so they can feel like they're wearing an undershirt when it's really just a boner-killing titkerchief. If you wear a boob apron, <laughs> then you can look like a librarian, a receptionist, or someone who's allergic to parties. Why wear an undershirt when it gives you breast wedgie? And boob aprons are even worse. Ooh, look, I'm pretending to work. For some reason, a guy telling a girl she has nice hooters is bad. But boob apron takes all the fun out of a date in no time. Nice white wine, dick. Boob apron has fancy fabrics and was made by slave children overseas, which makes wearing boob apron worse because now you support slavery. Life sucks enough as is. And at times, getting a peek at cleavage is all men have to look forward to. Why would anybody invent something to ruin a man's happiness and take away his dreams? Regardless of what fucking colors this dream robber comes in. This is America, where we're supposed to make dreams come true, not take them away with a fucking fun bag napkin. Wouldn't this fake job be better if these girls could see each other's cleavage and kiss? Isn't life all about being proud of the gifts God gave you? Because believe me, if guys had boobs, we'd only leave the house to show them off. Oh look, it's the white wine dickhead again, fag. Hey, hop on the phone now, and you can double the buzzkill factor and get twice as many boob aprons as before for the same price. whoop de fucking do Yeah, just order a tall stack of these blue ballers and ruin the fun for everyone. And don't forget to ask the operator if he or she has any other ideas on how to make life less fun. Like a mouthwash that gives you poison ivy. Or french fries with herpes. That'd be just great. Boob apron. Worst fucking invention ever. <laughs> You know what? You're not playing, man. That was an excellent spoof. Yeah, that's that's it's genius. Yeah. It was funny. It I just gets it. better and better. It does. It's not too long. It's not. Yeah. Can I tell you something? The, the funny thing is, every single person watching the original ad is watching for her boobs. Like oh, when yeah. she takes it off, like all the guys are like waiting, waiting for her to take the boob apron off. You're like, oh, score! <laughs> I can't help myself. I'm a guy, and it was. And every time she puts it on, I was thinking what the guy was saying, like, oh, "Dicks, who invented this?" Yeah. Now, when I, I've seen the ad a couple of times because you know it comes on late at night, and your instinct is not to look. I don't think of it as in like, "Oh, I want to see women's uh, uh, cleavage," but you think of it as, "Jesus, I don't want anything to do with the women who wear this." Like, I want no part of them. Uh -huh. I don't want to talk to them. I don't want them to get me coffee. I don't want them to ask how my day is. I don't want anything to do with them. Whatever is the deal with these women, they're not fun. They're not dirty. They're not gonna. They're not gonna get drunk and go home with you and do strange things. Like it's just flat out not gonna happen. Other guys can have them. Okay, except you know some of the repressed ones that are like, oh, I have to put on my boob apron, right? Yeah. And then all of a sudden, like in the middle of the night, they get a little couple of drinks in them, and they're like, fuck this boob apron. What happened now? <laughs> Yeah, no, I, I don't. I buy that with some conservatively dressed women. Uh -huh. If you're buying the boob apron, it is the female equivalent of the clip-on tie. Like that guy's not dirty either. No girl wants to go home with a oh, guy no, with no, a clip-on tie. Oh no, no, that guy's incredibly dirty. Yeah, but he saves it for the prostitute. <laughs> that Matt Wayne well. You see what I'm saying? Uh, the boob apron guy, the boob apron woman, and the clip-on tie guy, they just should mate and have dorky kids and keep Dungeons and Dragons alive for generations to come. Audible.com is the leading provider of audiobooks. 
In fact, they have over 75,000 titles. And you can listen on your iPod or your MP3 player. You can uh, listen to it anywhere at any time. It's incredibly convenient. And they have books in every single genre imaginable. You can get a free audiobook if you go to audiblepodcast.com slash TYT. Totally true.